Hare Krishna. I am Radha Mohini Mohandas from the International Society for Krishna Consciousness. We welcome you to Sri Sri Radha Ras Bihari Temple Iskon Juhu. Today I am going to share with you how I came to Krishna Consciousness, how I got connected to Iskon. Uh, it is when I was uh, working for a multinational company way back in 2009-10. That time I was working in that MNC as a regional manager and uh, my job was to handle the sales, developing the distribution network, closing more and more projects. So basically it was sales job and a typical sales job demands a lot of energy, a lot of passion and a lot of commitment. And you need to be always on toes to complete the top line and bottom line. And uh, it was just like any other day. But on that particular day, something happened and uh, I was very much stressed because of the company's pressure. And something happened in our family and I was disturbed with that family matter also. And I wanted to go somewhere to spend some 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 peaceful time with myself and this iskon temple is hardly three and a half four kilometers from my house and uh, that time i thought i will visit temple and i came to temple it was afternoon time and i was not aware of the timing of the temple that time that 1.30 to 4 o'clock the temples are closed in ISKCON so I came here at 2 o'clock and uh, I found the gates closed so I went to Juhu Beach and uh, which is just near to the temple and uh, I was sitting in a park alone uh, then a person came who just asked me, can I sit here next to you? I saw him, he was a foreigner and nicely built. I told him there are so many benches, you can sit anywhere, why you want to sit here only? He said, oh, I just want to talk to you. So. I made little space and he sat and then then after some time I was feeling little awkward and I opened my laptop and tried to do something. The moment he saw my company's logo, he started the discussion asking, oh, are you working for this company? It was a German company, Divravit. I said yes and uh, then he said, uh, I know this company, it is next to my country so i asked him from which country you are and the answer he's, he gave it was really astonishing for me that time the answer he gave was soul from golok vrindavan and body made in france and i was really surprised with this answer I was not expecting such type of answer from a foreigner. And then our conversation discussion started. He probed me that time. I don't know how come he came to know that I am in a distressed situation. I am not in a proper state of mind. And he started asking questions and I started answering. Sorry. He started asking me questions and I was answering and uh, then I asked questions and he answered by quoting verses, shlokas from Bhagavad Gita and he gave solution to 
many of my problems which were going on in my mind i was disturbed with lot many things and uh, this conversation continued for almost 2 hours and uh, he he really gave so last peace to me and i was feeling cool and calm that time after that 2 hours discussion and then he told me now it is 4:30 and uh, let us go the temple would be open and i came to the temple uh, then he started doing all the practices the spiritual that ritualistic practices i was unaware that time he bowed down in front of sri prabhupad then gornitai then radha krishna radha raj bihari and then sitaram lakshman i was just observing him and then he took me to the next place which was a book corner and he introduced and he left so that was my first day in iskon and uh, from the bookstall i came to know about the library which is on the third, third second floor and there i was browsing some books and i got some books i started reading but i was not comfortable that time to read books so the librarian told me to watch some movies and he started a movie which was very nice it was haradas movie after completing the movie i was just browsing in the system what other videos or presentations are there and there i found lot of good presentations which are for improving the efficiency in our material world like proactive leader time management stress management art of delegation all these things powerpoint presentations were there and all these pres- powerpoint presentations were made by uh, shri radha Radheshyam Prabhu and uh, when I was browsing all these things, librarian came, Anand Prabhu, and he told that he can share with me the transcripts of all these presentations of all these seminars, and that was my first day in Iskon. And uh, next day again, I did not go to office. Next day again, I came and spent full day in the temple only. and uh, i enjoyed that day i was feeling little relaxed peaceful and second day when i went to home i shared my experience with my wife and next sunday with my family i came and then we found there are lot of activities for each age group and uh, we started <coughs> mingling up with the devotees here so few months passed like this and then i saw advertisement in the temple for 3 day bhagavad gita course the science of self realization which is conducted by uh, our temple president uh, mukun madhav prabhu uh, and then i went and uh, i went and met him uh, asked about the course he told me to join the course i joined the course and that was how i officially got connected with the trainings of iskon and then uh, i liked that 3 day course very much then he told me to start with 64 week bhakti bhakti vriksha course then i joined there and after completing around 36 37 weeks uh, i was transferred to bangalore and uh, i went there uh, till that time i was visiting temple only on sundays normally Uh, along with the family but uh, not much inclination was there not much love was there but when i got transferred to bangalore i went alone my family was staying in bombay and uh, it happened that i started staying near to the iskon temple in bangalore and uh, i started spending all my free time in the temple so i got association with lot of senior devotees with maharaj and uh, i happen to attend lot of seminars workshops the 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 lectures and i was serving there also for uh, uh, 
uh, for the kitchen department and for the book stall and this way I got connected and that two, two and a half years what I spent in the Bangalore Sheshadri Puram is Khan Temple. In fact that changed my, my life and uh, uh, now I can see that in last four or five years I can see 180 degree change in my life. Earlier I was very much egoistic. I was getting angry. I was short tempered and my relationships were not good because I was eccentric and uh, I wanted everybody to praise me, to, to glorify me. But when I spent time in ISKCON, when I got the teachings, I understood that center of attraction should not be me, in fact, we can get peace, happiness, real peace and happiness and bliss only when we put Krishna in the center and we all should start serving Krishna. And when this concept came to my family, uh, then automatically the, 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 the relationship, the atmosphere, the environment, everything changed. And we all understood that Krishna should be kept in the center and we all should try to serve him in whatever capacity and manner we can do uh, instead of getting or expecting respect for myself and uh, expecting sense gratification for myself. So all these things which increases the, the stress, anger, so these things I understood when I spent time in ISKCON and uh, this way uh, like we were uh, moving along with the other devotees. Um, in 2015, 9th May, His Holiness Gopal Krishna Goswami Maharaj blessed us. He, he took us in his shelter and he initiated us, uh, myself and my wife. And uh, we are practicing now Krishna consciousness. And uh, now we can see uh, there is a lot of peace inner peace in the entire family and we do not get disturbed with the allurements of the material sense gratification objects we know we have this body to maintain so we try to get only those things what is necessary for maintaining this body we are soul and we should always try to purify the consciousness of the soul so that we can get become eligible to, to, to go back to Godhead. So uh, now we are practicing Krishna consciousness. So our spiritual progress is also going on. And uh, same way we are maintaining our material uh, life, material world. And now I got some opportunity to do some services for the temple. So uh, the, the three day course what I attended in the beginning on Bhagavad Gita. So that same three day course now I am conducting for newcomers in the temple and uh, I am conducting some Bhakti Vrikshas also in the nearby areas. Uh, this way I am serving the temple. Uh, we go for book distributions also. But one thing I can say that uh, earlier we, we were spending all our time or wasting all our time on material sense gratification, material enjoyment. Now we are spending time to distribute Prabhupada's book, to, to, to preach this message and we are always happy by doing this. So this is my journey, how I came to Krishna consciousness and I am trying to purify the, uh, the consciousness by lowering down the anarthas, the material greed, material desires, material anger, material attachment, um, then enviousness. So we are trying to do this uh, uh, and we are trying to progress. So this is how I came to Krishna consciousness and my journey for last four or five years. I would uh, request you to please visit nearest temple to your 
uh, home or your office spend some time there uh, associate with the devotees there ask for some systematic programs like three day or six day Bhagavad Gita course or Bhakti Vriksha. I request you to please get connected with these programs. It is really going to help you in long term and uh, and you are uh, really going to get peace, uh, happiness and bliss, that inner bliss. Uh, I would love you to come and join ISKCON. Uh, in fact, we don't need to pay any money to join ISKCON. You can join free of cost. Only thing is, you need to you need to practice what they teach, and you can get the feelings. You can realize realize what what uh, the devotees will tell you. So, uh, again, I'm requesting you, please, please visit the nearest ISKCON temple or ISKCON center. Get connected with them. Get associated with them, and start taking this great knowledge from the Bhagavad Gita which Srila Prabhupada has promoted all over the world. Hare Krishna.